Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request, we've got from Rodrigo Nunes, and this fits in our current theme, which is the Falklands conflict. The next video should be the 30 of May attack on HMS Invincible. Now, this is a really interesting one because finding information about this is very peculiar on the internet. I found stories all the way from one end of saying this attack never happened, all the way to the other end of saying that HMS Invincible was sunk on the 30th of May. As usual, I've gone with what I tend to do, which is Wikipedia, which tends to be somewhere in the middle and probably most realistic. So, from the HMS Invincible wiki page, on 30 May, two Super Attendards, one carrying Argentina's last remaining air launch exit set. They only had eight throughout the conflict, and this was their last one. Accompanied by four A4C Skyhawks, each with two 1,000 pound bombs, took off to attack Invincible. Argentine intelligence had sought to determine the position of the carriers from analysis of aircraft flights routes from the task force to the islands. However, the British had a standing order that all aircraft conduct a low-level transit when leaving or returning to the carriers to disguise their position. This tactic compromised the Argentine attack, which focused on a group of escorts 40 miles south of the main body of ships. When one of the Super Attendards detected a large target on radar, the Exocet was launched and the Super Attendards turned for Argentina, while the Skyhawks followed the Exocet, which soon passed out of sight. Two of the attacking Skyhawks were shot down by sea darts fired by HMS Exeter, with HMS Avenger claiming to have shot the missile with her 4.5-inch gun, although this claim is disputed. No damage was caused to any British vessels. During the war, Argentina claimed to have damaged the ship and continues to do so this day, although no evidence of any such damage has been produced or uncovered. And just to add to this interesting incident, we have a friend here who sent me what he claims to be a genuine picture from that mission. This is a photo of a controversial mission, the attack on HMS Invincible, a mix of FAA and COAN. But the important thing is that you can see the loadout of the aircraft because we were talking about why the Super Attendards have to have just one Exocet and they're usually on the right wing. So we can see an Armada Super E here with fuel tank, tank, Exocet, no missiles, refueling from a KC-130 or similar, and we think those are the four A4s that were reinforcing them on that day. Really interesting. We have myself and the Super E with the last remaining Argentinian Exocet missile. We've got my four A4C Skyhawks. We've armed everything up as accurately as we can to the historical pictures and the limitations that we have in our simulator. The A4s are, I mean, technically they're the wrong version, but they should, in theory, be almost perfect. Uh, let's get taxiing behind our counterparts, Simba. Next, you take the lead. Heading uh, 300 when able. <laughs> so they're going the wrong way. <laughs> Crazy Argentinians. Banking for 300.
Welcome back. We are several hundred kilometres over the Atlantic Ocean. We are rendezvousing with our KC-130 for refill. Okay, lead, you make initial contact. Texaco, 1-1. One, one. Springfield, 1-1. One, one. Request rejoin. Springfield, 1-1. One, one. Texaco, 1-1. One, one. Proceed to pre-contact at 17,000 at 190. Okay, we've got permission. Let's break left of these three. We'll meet back up with them. Two information for tanker. Ready, recontact. Return free contact. Clear to contact. Okay, two is on the left nozzle. Break away, break away, break two's away. Two is drinking. Contact. You're taking fuel. Where are you, Lee? I can't see you. I'm coming up. Welcome back, Lee. Have a nice drink. Lovely bit of sun. Transfer complete. I'm full. I'm going to wait for you. Disconnect. One's full. Breaking away, rolling right. Roger. Coming. Onward for the next leg of the journey. Welcome back. We've reached the Falklands. We are over the Eastern Islands and we are homing in on the last known position of the carrier due to information from our various information collection sources. We've been watching the Harriers and seeing where they return to. Shift right 10 degrees. We're going nap of the earth to avoid being noticed. This is a stealth mission as far as we can make it. Okay, we've reached the coast, let's get down and low. We should see, hopefully, a radar contact on the heading of 250, Cap's taking the lead. Okay, we're gonna get on the deck to keep as stealthy as possible. Turning my air to ground radar on, looking for contacts. Two times contact spotted. One's a large one, possibly a carrier. Getting a little bit closer. Locking the larger contact. Contact locked, out of range, moving into range. Have launch authority. 
popping up with a missile for her own shot. Fired. I'm getting out of here. Good luck, Hawks. One's headed in. So, we had a really interesting outcome of that. I mean, we just do these live and see what happens. So I fired my Exocet and got away, but the Exocet, it did get through, but it hit one of the Type 42 destroyers, the British destroyers, but it didn't appear to have sunk it, although it is smoking a lot more than the usual. Simba amazingly got through, dodged all the missiles, the Sackloss missiles and all the guns, but what happened? Press the wrong button? No, I didn't. Ha I didn't get the labs to to catch on in time. Didn't get uh, messed up with that, and then got blasted down by the cannon fire. And the other three guys who were controlled by AI just decided they didn't want the fight and ran away. So uh, that's how it happens in in our, in our world. Anything to add, Simba? Nope. Good mission. Bye.